And thank you so much. Want to turn our attention now to the coronavirus vaccine here in the Midlands as today was supposed to be a very big day. DHEC, of course, announcing that they have now opened up the dosing of the vaccine to 70 year old adults here in South Carolina and older. The agency says 233,600 doses were received in our state so far. Only 114,000 ish have been given out. Today, as Andrea just mentioned, was the first day those 70 and older could schedule an appointment for a COVID-19 vaccine. And for many, it's been a day of challenges with the phone lines tied up and the websites not working because of a surge in interest. Yes, there has been a lot of issues starting when this website launched at 1 in the morning. Kaylin Hagwood has more now from seniors who are working through this process. A day of excitement got up, got prepared, turned out to be one of intense frustration for seniors hoping to get scheduled for a coronavirus vaccine Wednesday. It hasn't been the easiest way to get it scheduled. They were asked to go online or call DHEC for assistance. Pastor Dorothy Maple of Sumter started with DHEC's appointment map. Kind of maneuver around the map. Every place that I tried to check, it told me not taking appointments. She sent emails to available locations and made calls. Not only Sumter, I tried Columbia, I tried Camden, I tried Manning. I even went down as far as Aiken, but um, nothing. Charles Joe tried visiting one of the locations instead. I was told that I must call DHEC to get scheduled. Hopefully that once I call them, it will be something very easily done, I hope. All seconds are busy now. Please try your call later. 0116. This overwhelming call volume uh, initially created technical issues with the phone system, which is in the process of being corrected. We are working to extend, uh, expand the capacity of our care line, and as of this morning, have contracted with a vendor to double the number of dedicated call center operators. As for the locations, the agency says availability can change daily and more facilities are expected in the coming days. We want to help set expectations on getting an appointment soon. It's important to understand that the flow of vaccine is a trickle into our state right now from the federal government. Also, many of the appointments in the close term here shortly in the coming weeks have already been booked by the people, the other folks who are in phase 1A. After spending hours trying to get an appointment, Maple is just hoping the process will get easier. It's most because I've lost friends from this COVID-19. I've had members who've lost family members from the COVID-19. We need to set up something that is more convenient for our seniors. We are seniors. We shouldn't have to be running all over the county or the state to get a vaccine. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood. We all agree with her on that. You can't watch that story and not feel for her. It's a very frustrating day, and we were looking at the map, Starcy, obviously this morning on News 19 this morning at 5 in the morning. They were already all red. You know, green indicates they were taking mm -hmm. appointments. Red indicates they are not. Yeah. They were already red this morning at 5 a.m., and the site only launched at 1 a.m. All right, so here's some good news for the seniors who were not able to get through today. The governor's January 15th deadline does not apply for you. The governor's office tells News 19 you will still be able to make an appointment.